In this video, you'll learn how to connect a Hunter Click Sensor to a Pro-C P2C 400 controller. A click sensor can help conserve water by suspending irrigation for a period of time, based on conditions at the site. There are several click sensors available. Rain Click, Mini Click, Soil Click, Flow Click, Freeze Click, and Wind Click. The Pro-C controller is designed to support one solar sink sensor and one click sensor. For example, you could install a solar sink sensor, which has weather adjustment, rain shutdown, and freeze shutdown built in. Then, add a flow click, soil click, or wind click sensor to manage conditions the solar sink does not address. Keep watching to learn how to properly install a click sensor. Though we'll use a rain click sensor for our demonstration, all click sensors are wired into the controller in the same way. Before connecting any device to the controller, be sure to turn off the power to the controller. Remove the metal jumper plate that's attached across SEN2 and COM. Connect either wire coming from the sensor to the COM terminal. Connect the other wire from the sensor or the sensor receiver to the sensor terminal marked SEN2 on the controller. If you're using a hardwired sensor, you can proceed with mounting the sensor at this point. However, if you're using the wireless sensor, it's a good practice to verify proper communication between the receiver and the sensor before mounting it. With the receiver connected to the controller, turn the power on to the controller. You'll notice that the LED on the sensor receiver will activate, indicating that it's in search mode. Press the spindle on the sensor and hold it for 5 seconds. The sensor status light will turn green, indicating that the units are communicating. Once you've verified proper communication, you can mount the sensor. When installing the sensor, the location you choose is crucial for achieving optimal performance. Follow the instructions provided to position it in the best location. When the weather sensor determines that irrigation is not needed, it will deactivate automatic watering. You'll see OFF appear in the display to indicate this. If you want to continue watering regardless of the weather, you can use the manual single station function. This enables the controller to ignore any attached sensor and allows manual watering to occur. Installing a click and solar sink sensor. If you'll be installing a click sensor along with a solar sink sensor, you'll follow a similar process. Before connecting any device to the controller, be sure to turn off the power to the controller. Remove the metal jumper plate that's attached across SEN2 and COM. In this case, the solar sink sensor has already been installed, so we just need to connect the click sensor. Connect either wire coming from the click sensor to the COM terminal. Connect the other wire from the sensor or the sensor receiver to the sensor terminal marked SEN2 on the controller. Both sensors are now attached. You'll want to test the operation of each sensor as discussed earlier. If the rain sensor is interrupting irrigation, you can bypass it by using the bypass switch on the front of the controller. To do this, press the sensor bypass button to temporarily bypass the sensor status and allow normal controller operation. The bypass switch will remain active for a maximum of 24 hours before reverting to active sensor status. The bypass indicator will be selected in the display when the sensor bypass switch is active. The bypass switch does not affect the seasonal adjust update when using the solar sink sensor. As you can see, integrating sensors into your system does not take a lot of effort, and the benefits are substantial. For detailed information about click sensors or the Pro-C controller, consult their respective owner's manuals at hunterindustries.com.